What's up gangers, today we're going to be looking at Barham Jones here and before we do get into this video I just want to say I'm recording this at 12 in the morning because I completely forgot that he is releasing today. Um, I had the build and stuff prepared, just not the video, so let's get into it but before we do, like, subscribe, discord link in the description, appreciate it. And then finally let's get into it. So Balahan Jones they released the event store today, 2800 gold. His commander perk is Rucksack Plus, which increases frag grenade maximum charges by four, meaning we're gonna be carrying around a lot of grenades. Whether or not this is gonna be viable in any sort of meta, it probably won't be. But for casual play and taking out hordes or encampments, this is gonna be really effective. For his abilities, he has standard soldier abilities, frag grenade, war cry, and shockwave. And let's get into the build here. So obviously for our commander we've got Battlehound Jonesy. For our team perk we've got Happy Holidays, which reduces your ability cooldowns by 40%, stacks independently from other cooldown reduction perks. This is so obviously we can use our grenades all at once without having to wait for the ability cooldown to reset on the grenades. So that's nice. For our support team we've got Pawn the Pin, decreases frag grenade energy cost by 33%. This is because there's got we've got so many frag grenades to throw right, we've, we've only got limited energy and I have not put any energy regeneration perks in this build because this is purely, bla purely based on grenade damage. So then we have Cluster Bomb, frag grenade explodes into 6 small grenades which each deal 16 base energy damage in a 0.5 tile radius pretty good. Grenade damage increases frag grenade damage by 36%. It's pretty pretty obvious why we need this. That's a massive damage up. We have Ghoulish Cackle increases ability damage up to 37.5% based on percentage of missing health. We have this is almost any ability build unless we're going with a different type of build. But usually if our ability is focused on damage we are running Ghoulish Cackle. And then our last one we have bigger is better, increases frag grenade radius by 50%. Before we do get into game mode, I want to ask a question. When I'm doing these types of videos, the best build series videos, would you prefer me to use their normal appearance or a skin? So right now I'm, I'm using his normal one, but the one with no mask, because I think it's quite interesting now that we can use his styles. But let me know in the comments below. And apart from that, let's get into it. So we've just got into game. This is a power level 108 because I'm using Battlehound Jonesy as a level 40, which is the equivalent of 106. As you can see in the bottom right corner, we have seven grenades. That's actually the highest I've ever seen it because I don't think I've ever actually run Battlehound Jonesy before. Apart from earlier when I was testing it out. Let's just can't really get them into one area, can we? Okay, so it does its purpose, it takes out husks in a wide area. Just keep throwing them. That. Ooh, I don't know why I was getting with that. I was just throwing them, I was just throwing them without even thinking about being attacked. Which is because we are in Eliminate and Collect. I've said this before, I should stop doing these in Eliminate and Collect. You do one thing and then get bombarded the next second by something else. Because there are husks everywhere in this mode, which is why I thought it'd be a good idea, but it's not. So, everything there died easily. You know what I'm not using? I'm not using Master Grenadier Ramirez's team perk, which might be better than Happy Holidays. Happy Holidays obviously reduces the cooldown of the grenades, so there is one second, which is pretty insane. But with Master Grenadier Ramirez team perk, it will actually leave an energizing field. I'm just running through a swarm of bees. Not very smart. But we do have the cluster bombs, so it does still have an AoE. But there would be a higher AoE with more damage, including energy damage, if we had that team perk on. So keep that in mind. Oh, oh. Okay, can we just. No. Get rid of a few of these wobbers. A little bit annoying. As you can see, I've been using um, I've been using Stone Hot a lot. I, I really like the bows. Cloud Burst bow video coming soon, by the way. Um, I just haven't had a lot of time to work on it. Did they all just despawn right in front of me? Okay. 
I need to find a blaster so I can test how much damage it did. I wonder if we can just test it on there. Okay, it's about 69,000 damage for the base grenade and all of the damage stacked upon it. Let's see if we can actually get this soul take with the grenade. Oh, I don't think that was it, was it? It might be. I'm not too sure. I'm just trying to outrun all this damage because eliminate and collect one thing after another. Oh, we didn't get him in that one. Okay, it did about 20% of his health. I didn't see how much damage it did exactly. Oh god, this isn't... Okay. Okay. Oh, you know... Just as I see a blaster. We, um... We just got eliminate and collected. Right, I'm gonna call it eliminate and collected if I die in this mission. No damage values, but it did one shot him. Um, interesting. So, I can't really demonstrate much more else. This is the inner solo mission, so we would be doing a lot more damage if we were in a public. Keep that in mind. We also are running him at level 40. In a power level 106, you're probably asking why I didn't go 130 with a level 50, yada yada yada, because I won't be using this hero again, and that is my final conclusion for this video. Uh, he's not helpful as a commander. As a support perk member, he would be great. It increases the maximum amount of frag grenades you can carry by one, which is really helpful if you're running someone like... Oh, I forget his name. The guy which increases the base damage of the frag grenades, or Master Grenadier, or someone else like that. It's helpful in that scenario. You've got one more to throw down. But in the case where you are the commander, and you're just stacking team perk damage, which isn't a lot of damage. All the damage buffs in the support team, it's not a lot compared to what your commander will be given. So you'd want someone in your commander slot which is going to contribute to the amount of damage and the actual output of the ability and this guy doesn't do that he doesn't increase the damage he doesn't increase the effectiveness you can just throw more grenades and that's about it there's not much else to say really i think that's about the video so thanks for watching like subscribe at the start of the video you might have been able to hear a fan that's because again i completely forgot he was releasing tonight and my playstation has been on all day uh, I need to give it a break. I'm going to bed. Uh, like, subscribe. Uh, see you next time. Uh, goodbye. I'm just, I'm just... Oh, God. I can't... Oh, God. It's really hard running bows without Stoneheart Pharaoh. I'm just gonna... Yep, yeah, bye.